Hello, everyone. Welcome to the centennial of the Pulitzer Prizes. I'm honored to join you, even virtually. My name is Paul Salopek. I won both of my Pulitzers at the Chicago Tribune. The first was for a series of articles on the questionable ethics of a global human genetics program. And the second was for reporting in Africa, mostly about war, about conflict. I think many of us who are fortunate enough to be recognized by the Pulitzer Committee hope to leverage this honor to help us achieve our best work. And I suppose that's what I'm trying to do as well with my media partners at National Geographic. Though I probably can't recommend my slow and rather roundabout career path to too many other folks. Take a look. Everybody has a story. They may tell it in a different language, they may whisper it, they may shout it, but they have a story. My name is Paul Salopek and I'm a journalist and National Geographic fellow. I'm interested in telling the untold stories of people who live around the world, who work in farms, in factories, people who make societies work. The way I see it is that we're all walking together. My Out of Eden Walk project involves walking through the major stories of our day. I want to slow my readers down and use the walk as a global laboratory for immersive, slow journalism. But just as important, I'm also getting younger readers to both consume global news and engage with current events at a more meaningful level. I think that more than ever, this is becoming a critical part of our jobs today. I'm lucky to have two great education partners who are helping me with this. The Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting is using the walk's journalism to build smart curriculums for schools and universities across the United States. And Project Zero at Harvard has created a digital platform for school kids in 40 countries around the world. Two lunches at the Lowe Library at Columbia University helped make all of this happen. So from my newsroom without furniture, which today happens to be on the shores of the Caspian and Kazakhstan, I send you all my greetings and I congratulate the Pulitzer Prizes on reaching 100. Okay, on to China. About a two years walk east of here. <laughs> 